<laughs> I can't wear this hat today. This now not this is hat mood, you know. I had my uh, my ADUS reality hat. You know, I had my I guess I had a I'm playing Powell Jr. and Malcolm X on there, you know, what I call the real double whammy of the sixties, but that's for another day. You know. Like I'm, this is this is Steve Biko shirt. Steve Biko, you know, um, South African you know, the, theorizer because you know whatever. But that's not, I don't need I don't need intellectual kind of things. I don't need political kind of things right now. I need I need a Chris Hani kind of thing. Well, Chris Hani's South African too, but I mean, I'm trying to figure out. I, I need in, Amer in American context. I need a Robert F. Williams kind of thing happening. You know what I'm saying? Well, you may not know what I'm saying. You have to look up Robert F. Williams, Negroes with Guns. Here's some water. I'm going to do straight. Listen, um, I'm feeling some kind of strange way, man. I walked over here. Because if you hear something in the background, it's TV. My fraternity brother, he, he he monitors the news and stuff like that. I ain't got no time for it, you know. In fact, I think the reason why I'm feeling this kind of way this particular time is because... Usually, when stuff like okay, let me let me go back. Let me start someplace else. Um, for long, for when I was in the Air Force, I, I was a lab technician. You know, you know, taking blood and whatever. Have you. Plus, I did autopsies. Now, I'm one of those guys. I mean, talk about total cold. Back back that time, I, this is a whole long story. But back, I was total cold blooded. When I used to cold, you, you know, I, I'm, those people old enough. You know, the the, the, the TV show Quincy in the beginning when they, they he's a he's a he's a, a more guy. A, pathologist, whatever, and, he, and he's, he's got his little, he's, he had all the students, you know, the students out there, uh, the, the, the medical students there, and he, he takes, and he, he's got to go on a case, so he's trying to get rid of them, right, so he does all this gross stuff, and they're all like, ah, and they're running away, because he's got a body on the thing, they're all running away, I'm the kind of guy, not only would I stay, I'm the kind of guy I actually did this, I actually, I can eat in the morgue, that's the kind of weird kind of thing I have, things don't really touch me like that, but when it do, it do, so, all this stuff with the, you know, every, you know, everything from Crispin and Glover, you keep on going back up, up to, up to Freddie Gray, all these people, when I, I've been around, I hear them, even, even, well, I hear about them, okay, but it's like, it doesn't permeate, you know, when I say permeate, it's like, one of the reasons we, we respond to music, for instance, is because the, the, somehow the music, the, the, the math of the music, comes in and it, 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 it gets to some place it, it, it talks to the math inside your body you know and 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 you feel something you, you emotes you know if you don't feel anything then well maybe you're just not you know in tune right so a lot of stuff when these things happen the, the, you know the, the whatever the the, the, the Freddie Grays and the you know, whoever you know the Trayvon Martins who, whoever it just washes over me because it happens so much I just leave it alone well this latest thing with the brother George Floyd, it, it somehow it got through, and I didn't even look at the thing. Well, when it first hit, what happened was I was listening to tone. Uh, 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 anyway, I knew what happened, but I purposely just did not pay any attention to any reports. I didn't go to my internet. I didn't do anything like that. Um, but um, at some particular point, Antonio Moore from um, from uh, Tone Talks, you know from you know, from ADOS, he uh, he did a program on it, but he actually read what was happening, and that got to me because I'm an audio person. You know, I mean, like that. that, that this is I can't understand. It just somehow it just hit me, you know. And then I'm thinking, man, why is this affecting me like this? Then I realize, as the days go on, then I finally saw one thing. The only thing I really saw was I saw that cop, right? With, you know, with, with 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 his with his shin on on the guy's on 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 George Floyd's neck, right? And then he's got his he's got his hand in his pocket. Now you have to. I'm not giving you my martial arts background. This is a long time ago. Quite a couple of years. But see, when you when 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 his hand in his pocket like that. But the problem was when he that look he had in his eye. It's like it's, it, was, it, it haunts me. That's what got through. The white man's eyes got through. Yeah, there's a whole lot of facts. I mean, and then, then, then I have to figure out, well, well, that affected me. But what is it specifically about?
about George Floyd? What is specifically about him? Because it, it, it has to do with him too. And then I realized, George Floyd was, he's the quintessential black man. The quintessential black man. That's right, been to jail, blah, 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 blah. Friends with it, friends with somebody in sports because they come from the same neighborhood. Uh, 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 has, has babies. And was and had to had to go to look for a job someplace else. In other words, he's dealing with his situation with this ADOS that is constantly uh, downtrodden, uh, beating on a downtrodden situation. He's dealing with it, only to come with the races. So let me know. Everybody knows the story, but I'm just trying to. I, I just don't, I, that's how it affects me because to me, he is a quintessential black man. No, but Obama's not the quintessential black man. That guy, I, there was some guy, uh, Cincinnati, all the cities are, are flaming up, which I'm not going to say nothing about. Yeah, I'm going to say about. Keep on. Do, everybody need to do what they need to do. Everybody needs to do what they think they can do, what they're equipped to do. But that's not what I'm talking about. I think it was in Cincinnati. I heard some report. I was listening to somebody's YouTube thing, and uh, they, they had a report from the, um, you know, from the local news thing. And one of the things they had an alderman, it sounds like a black well, or a counselor, whatever the whatever the local politician is, right? And he was going on, and then, then he got emotional at the end, and he said, "Oh, and the, the, he's talking about like the teenage, the 14s and 13 year olds. They shouldn't be out there. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that." I have no advice like that for you. I would say this, right? especially to this boy. I don't want to hear about don'ts. How about some do's? Don't tell me, don't tell a young black man not to do what he needs to do because you as an older black man sitting in, in politics hasn't done what you're supposed to do. The 14-year-old wouldn't have to be out there if you did your job. Everybody need to do their job. Even those cops. They had the one guy. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to mention that boy's name. They, they, they got the one racist, you know, with the eyes looking with the thing, thing and killing somebody. In, uh, what is it? Eight and a half? What is it? Was seven and a half? Eight and nine minutes. You wish it, it's like, it's, it was like, it was like, if, if it's like, if he, if he was like in, 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 what do you call it? If he was like in the, um, uh, uh, it, you know, where they have execute people and you got to be the witness. We all, the entire world, witness an eight-minute execution. I would tell that ultimate, whoever that was, those people, those politicians, they say, don't, 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 oh, please. And, they, and, and the media is focusing on the violence. I don't want to hear all that stuff. I would tell them, the first thing you need to do, any politician, anybody in some state house, the first thing you need to do in every state in the union, including, yeah, uh, the Hawaii and Alaska, every state capital needs to put them, their, they need to put their Flags at half mass. That's the first thing. That's the, 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 you're a politician. Make them put that flag at half mass. For how long? For as long as it takes. You know? But let me not get all charged up. But there are other things. Let, let, in fact, let me be a little calmer. No, I'll do that at the end. Let me say right now. And then basically you have to do what you need to do. Right? I mean, uh, um, um, uh, well, Willie Dixon, he, on his Instagram, he had his, I just got Instagram, I'm not really into it yet, but I got it, but but he had this thing, this young boy, you know, I guess he was, he, he was singing, this young man, he's about 12, 12, 13, whatever, years old, and he's singing his heart out about the situation. If you're a singer, sing. If you're a comedian, comedian about it. If, if you, uh, if you, if you're Robert F. Williams, Robert F. Williams it. <laughs> You know, if you're an artist, if you, whatever you are, you need to just stop. The flags at half mass. Do something. <sighs> okay. And if you, it, it, one of the things I did, you know, music heals me a lot. But, uh, uh, a change is going to come. The Sam Cooke record. You know from the movie, um, what X, you know, Malcolm X movie at the end when he's, you know, on the, in the car about to uh, go to his, uh, his calling, you know, that, that song is played, you know, a change is going to come. Okay. Many people have done that thing, but you know, that's the original. Um, so I'm just saying, Hey, maybe that's what it is. Pick a song, pick something in your, in your older genre and every day, just or every morning, some, sometime just play that song. 
there's the other thing in this media. A lot of times now they now they, the media does what they do. They, now they're trying to shift the thing. They do things like they they, they say you know they, they they'll say the uh, 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 former police officer. I don't even think they say that. I think they say police. I don't know what they say. Yeah, former police officer. No. Nah. The current murderer. No, I'm living in the That's that's me going crazy. Um, but the trick is the the thing is the thing, and then everybody's talking about this. I just, from the very beginning I said this. There were four officers here. One was killing them directly on his neck. Two of them were holding down. From what I understand, I haven't like I haven't seen the whole thing. I really I'm just hearing what I'm hearing, right? And then you got the Asian officer walking around. Doo, 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 nothing's happening. The problem is this: your job is to protect and serve. He wasn't protecting this black man and he wasn't serving the neighborhood by killing the black man. And those other three officers who didn't have the sense, this is, this is, this is, didn't have sense to, oh, hey man, that's enough, man. Let's put him in, let's put him in the car, let's go. They couldn't even do that, that's, that's their job. Their job is to protect and serve. To, to have these police officers, that their job is not to protect and serve, their job, their job is to kill black men. I'm talking to black men, I don't care, don't tell, I'm, 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 you know, so I'm preparing myself, I guess I should say it that way, you know. My brother dies, I got to deal with this the rest of this week. I got to sort of chill out. I got to comment, but I mean, I'm stay away from these emotional things. Uh, Thursday, I got to go down to Virginia, be with, be with my sister and my, my niece and everybody down there, the family down there, the, you know, brother-in-law and whatever. And so that's sort of, well, I don't know what it will do. But then after that, I get back here. Then, then I then then I'm going to St. Louis. All men, I'm be around all men. I'm dealing with men right now. This is the season of the man, you know. I want to talk to the women, whatever have you. you know, my wife is well. My wife's in South Africa, so I don't have to deal with that, right? She's stuck there. I'm stuck here. So anyway, that's it. I just uh, I just had to really get that off, man. I can't. I can't. I, mean, I don't understand how it just hit me all these years. All these, this is the one that hits. Ah, that's it. You know, this little message from uh, an ADOS reality. We live the ADOS reality. Message from me, T. From the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Talk to you later.